the history of pizza. Pizza came from flatbread with different ingredients such as herbs, olives, fat, raisins, honey, and nuts. In fact, pizza in Italian identifies as a type of flatbread or pie that is fried or baked. Although you can find many types of pizzas around the Mediterranean, in Naples, after the tomato appeared on the table in the 1700s, the pizza first emerged in the form we know now today. Naples has records of pizza since around the year 1000. In those times, pizzas were dressed with garlic and olive oil, or cheese and anchovies, or small local fish. They were usually baked on an open fire. Naples is also where the first pizzeria is open. They had brick wood burning ovens covered with lava from local volcanoes. The chefs of those times ignored pizza because it was considered a poor man's food. Yet, the introduction of tomato into the combination around the 1770s must have raised some curiosity even in the royal palace. The famous episode extended the popularity of pizza beyond the limits of the city of Naples. It was about 1889, and Margarita, Queen of Italy, was visiting the city. She was told about pizza and wanted a taste. A famous cook named Don Raphael, with the help of his wife, Donna Rosa, was invited to cook pizza at the royal palace. They prepared three pizzas, typical of the time. One was with cheese and basil, one with garlic, oil, and tomato, and one with mozzarella, basil, and tomato. The queen, impressed by the colors of the last pizza, which resembled the national flag, preferred that one. Since then, this pizza has been known as Pizza Margarita, and Don Raphael is credited with its invention, even though we know today that it had already existed even for a long time. At the beginning of the last century, Italian immigrants opened the first pizzerias in the United States, where pizza has become a mass phenomenon. Yet, even today, the best pizza is found in Naples, where it is made with buffalo mozzarella.